I've been speaking lately about um, it's not just that you bring awareness to what's happening, but it's how you bring awareness to what's happening that makes all the difference. <clears throat> because simply said, one way to bring awareness actually causes you to be more identified, more held in, more contracted. And another way you bring awareness actually facilitates unwinding and letting go and being free of the identity. <clears throat> In the same way, how we think can actually enslave us more or liberate us. So when you explore uh, something like <clears throat> what's called inquiry, what is inquiry, really? It's questioning. It's asking a question. To inquire. You know? So when you find out how to actually question, you can question in such a way that you become more tightly wound up in thinking and more separate from reality. Or you can ask a question in such a way that the questioner dissolves. So when you can truly find that, how that works. You know, it's bringing awareness in such a way that opening happens. Questioning in such a way that the mind dissolves. And then you're fully right here. There's, and when I say you're fully right here, I put you in quotes. There's no more you. Is just being awareness. So freedom is just another kind of disappearing act, right? <laughs> because suffering is when we're very identified, when we're really so contracted in our beliefs that there's no sense of humor at all, you know? There's no lightness. It's heavy. It's a bummer. It sucks. <laughs> then we get a bumper sticker for our car which says, I'd rather be sailing. <laughs> I'd rather be anything but right here. <laughs> give me Librium or give me meth, as Patrick Henry once said. <laughs> he knew about freedom. <laughs> was reflecting and it seems so funny because um, some of us are traveling off to Hawaii, the island of Molokai, to, to do a retreat together. And I thought, how, how silly to go all that way just to be here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> of 
course, it's a pretty nice here, I have to say. <laughs> it has its perks. <laughs> I wish you could all be there. Another way to think about this is, I kind of like this, this is kind of fun, is if you could go inside yourself and find the off switch to the projector, you know, that which is projecting onto right now, onto reality, if you could just find that switch and turn it off, Because what happens is when you turn off the projector, automatically awareness turns on. Now, you can also do it the other way, which is when you turn on the awareness switch, the projector turns off. Whatever way works for you. When you're not projecting, when, then there's no more you. See, this is continually the dissolving of the, or the, the dissolution of the self, the, the realization that the identity is simply a construct. No, it's fine, it has a place and a use and all that. We don't need to go into that. But to be happy means to be free right now, to find freedom right now from whatever is burdening you, you know? And we all, most people have stuff, physical, emotional, psychological, circumstantial, right? But you can wake up, you can Turn on awareness and turn off the projector right now. And that's what being here is about. It's about being here. And when that, when you're fully here, your heart will open up and it may release tears or fear or anger or whatever is there, burdening it. And then you'll start to sense this closeness, this nearness, this intimacy with all, everything. So if you're feeling uncomfortable, find out how to bring awareness to that so that you're not pushing it away or judging it or comparing it to some other experience, but rather welcoming it, you know, with tenderness and patience and compassion and if needed, forgiveness, even with gratitude. To welcome this moment however it appears. And that's another way that awareness gets turned on and projection gets turned on.